What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop.nl. My name is Max and today we are taking out this awesome 2021 Mercedes AMG GTC Roadster. And well, there are a couple of reasons for that. Number one, well, it's a beautiful day. Number two, I freaking love the AMG GT and the GTC in particular. And number three, it has had a little update. So this is a 2021 GTC Roadster. The AMG GT in general got a facelift update for uh, this year. And today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to cover a few of the changes and we're going to take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive updates when we upload a new video, which we do twice a day. And you can also check us out on Instagram at Autotop.nl. All right, so the AMG GT in general uh, got a few updates, but the GTC a little less. So we basically took the GTC out because this is the one we love. This is the sweet spot of the range, if you ask me. Now, uh, the range has changed a little bit. So it used to be GT, GTS, GTC, GTR, GTR Pro. Now we have the GT Black Series as well, but they got rid of the GTS. So now the GT is, is still the base version. Uh, after that comes the GTC and then the GTR and so on. Uh, so that means that the GT, the regular one, got a 54 horsepower increase to 530 um, from 476. And the GTS disappeared, which had 525 horsepower, I think, the last time. But this GTC still has 557 horsepower. Now, how can you recognize a GTC? Well, at the front, we've got little chrome inserts in the uh, front bumper. Of course, we have the Panamericana grill, but they all have that now, uh, which is, I don't know, a bit of a shame because I liked it when it was reserved for very special models only. Um, the new facelift also includes an optional package called the Stealth Package or Stealth Edition, which gives you a lot of black stuff around the car, a carbon roof if you have a coupe and darkened headlights. Uh, the GTC also gets 19 inch at the front, 20s at the rear. This is an optional wheel, I believe, with that matte black in there, looks really cool. We've got the optional carbon brakes as well with that golden caliper, massive brake discs, as you can see, really big. Uh, we've got 265 section tires at the front, Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. This is another giveaway that this is a GTC, this little aluminum chrome part. Looks really cool. And at the rear, we've got 305 section tires um, with, as I said, 20 inch wheels. Now, the GTC gets a couple of goodies from the GTR, uh, namely 44 millimeter wider track and wider body around seven centimeters, uh, which is very, very nice. That's one of my favorite parts of uh, the GTC, the, the wider rear end, big booty. And you also get the rear wheel steering from the GTR and the differential. So you do get a couple of nice upgrades in the GTC. The regular GT now also gets uh, a limited slip diff at, as standard. That was only for the GTS and up before, but now the base version gets it as well. But man, I love this car. I especially love the rear end because it reminds me of the SLS Roadster and I just absolutely adore the SLS in general. And this just reminds me of an SLS and that makes me want it more, <laughs> basically. So at the rear, this bumper and especially this little air outlet is the thing you can recognize a GTC by. You can see those little additions here, which I don't think do anything. Is that? I think that's closed, right? Where is that open? I can't really see. Uh, but it makes the rear end of the GTC really wide. Uh, we've got a little spoiler here as well, which opens and closes at certain speeds. But I do believe I saw a button earlier here. Can we check that out? 
Nice startup. Yes, there is a button here. Okay, so that's what that looks like. At higher speeds, that thing opens. Oh, listen to that idle. That is a proper V8 sound. Now, uh, we have these squared off tailpipes in chrome. I think you can also get them in black. Now, the regular AMG GT gets round tailpipes, four of them, and the GTC gets these squared off ones. Both a very nice look, I have to say. Uh, let's turn it off. Very, very nice sound. Now, we'll take, <laughs> we'll take a look at the engine. This color, by the way, is selenite gray magno. So magno means uh, that it's a matte color. But we've had a lot of AMGs in this color. And I mean, I would have loved to see it in some cool color like red or blue. I think that just fits this car so well with that light beige, almost whitish interior. Really cool. Um, but anyway, AMG seems to really like this color because you see it a lot. Now, right here, we have the four liter V8 bi-turbo engine, which we know and love. As I said, 557 horsepower and it's got 680 newton meters still. Uh, and as I said, the regular GT got an upgrade from 476 to 530. Nothing really changed here for the GTC. Uh, this is still the same power output and it is freaking, it's more than enough basically. But you can also see, uh, you can see the turbos right there, the hot V turbos within the cylinder banks. This seems like an engine cover, but it's really not. There's something else underneath there. But you can also see how far the engine sits back. So it's basically a front mid-engined car. Engine sits way behind the front axle. And you've got this massive front end, but the engine is just like up to there. So it's purely aesthetic and it's, it just works so well. It's such a beautiful car and it gives me this like old school roadster feel. I think they did a really good job on making like a retro futuristic combo. So let's clo close the roof. I'll show you guys that as well. Goes really quickly, 11 seconds. And with the roof up, that is still a gorgeous car in my opinion. But of course, for the drive towards the Autobahn, we're going to put it down. That's seriously quick, right? And you can do that while driving up to 50 kilometers an hour. So that's also quite handy. Alrighty, so. Start it up again. And let's take it for a little drive. So we've got the seven speed dual clutch gearbox in drive and we're going to go for race mode with traction control turned all the way off now on the interior we've got a couple of upgrades as well so this is a new steering wheel of course and this car has the amg dynamic plus package which means that we also have active engine mounts and we have this alcantara covered steering wheel um, center console i really love this spec for the interior apart from the black leather i would go for something lighter but I do love that we have this aluminium here again. The last couple of times we drove AMG GTs, they all had that piano black stuff. But I think that this just makes this car look so special on the inside. Combined with this carbon fiber trim, really nice cup holders right there. And this is one of the most aggressively closing lids I've ever seen in a car. You have to be careful for your fingers because that's like a guillotine. Maybe that's what GT stands for, guillotine. Anyway, uh, that's a very bad joke. So, other than that, on the interior, we've got the new uh, infotainment. So not the latest MBUX stuff, but a generation later and a nice new screen as well, which looks very slick. And we also have uh, the new digital dash right there, which I don't really like. I liked the analog stuff, but you guys know that. Uh, this is basically the same you get in an A35 and that makes it less special in 
a GTC, in my opinion. Anyway, let's take it for a drive. Manual mode for the gearbox as well. Oh man, and that is just delicious. I mean, it's got some power. It's got some power, 557. And just the feel of driving this car is just so special because you feel that you sit right in front of the rear axle. It, you, it feels like you're sitting on top of it almost. And you have that long front. When you steer, you can see that front moving from left to right. Yeah, I know that's obvious, but it just feels very different in this car. It feels very connected. And when you slide it around, you really feel like you're pointing that front end against the rear end. Like, it, it feels amazing. But you really have to push the car to slide it around because it's got loads of grip. Really crazy amounts. But of course, if, you, if you're uh, driving slowly and you know, being an idiot with the, with the throttle, it's quite easy. <laughs> oh, and that, that dual clutch gearbox, those lightning quick shifts. And it absolutely sounds incredible. I mean, it sounds better than the GT Black Series. Uh, I know that has a flat plane crank, so that's going to sound different. This sounds more thunderous, but I also think that the, uh, the GT Black Series suffers from the OPF more than this car. Oh, that is just... Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, we have to break here because we're going to put up the roof. Now, let's take it to the Autobahn top speed. Should be 316 kilometers an hour, zero to 100. Oh, we haven't done that yet. Uh, we don't have anyone behind me. So we're going to brake here, brake hard. And we're going to do a launch control. Zero to 100 should be done in 3.7 seconds, but uh, it kind of struggles off the line. So the best we've been able to do is 3.9, I think. But that's still hella quick for a rear wheel drive car like this. Okay. Lights going. Speedo cam. Now, aren't there any drawbacks to this car? Well, yes, there are. I think in race, especially, the dampers are quite firm. The cars can be quite uncomfortable and unsettling over like bumps at higher speeds. And it's a bit cramped in here, I think. I mean, uh, you've got a little bit less headroom in a Roadster than you do in the Coupe. And just, yeah, it's a little bit cramped, but it is a very special place to be with that long hood in front of you. That short rear end is just so nice. And then it does make you feel really, really special. And just the urgency of that power delivery, that V8 revving out to around 7,000 RPM and then combined with that dual clutch transmission with those lightning quick shifts, it is a very cool experience. And it's a quick car. <laughs> we do have a bit of wind noise, of course. Being a convertible, you have a bit more than uh, with a coupe. But just look at it picking up speed. It is just relentless. So it is a bit windy today. You can really feel that. The car is moving around a little bit. Couple of bumps 
bumps here. Now, you guys have seen me take these bumps in, in the cars, you know, much faster than this, but in this car, because it's so stiff, and I don't know if that has something to do with, you know, losing the rigidity from the roof, and that they have stiffened up the suspension to, to cover it up, to, to cope with that, but it's, it's quite a firm ride. Now, of course, we also measured the performance and we did a couple of 100 to 200 kilometer an hour runs for our extensive list. And this car performed really well. I mean, it is seriously impressive. So the fastest we measured was 6.78 seconds from 100 to 200 and uh, that's seriously quick I mean that's just off the pace of a Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster so yeah that's I mean think about that that is a really insane car 700 horsepower V12 Lamborghini and this does around the same time uh, we also measured an AMG GTR Pro which did 6.4 so it's not that far off the pace of that car I mean it is seriously quick absolutely love it it's such an impressive car And I'm really happy that it still sounds this good. I mean, oh, of course, in here you have more engine sound, uh, and when you have the roof down, you've got that exhaust burbling away, crackling. That's just, it's such a good feeling, braking, you, you just saw it from 300 to 160 or something, braking hard. It's just such a good feeling to know that you still have more reserve. It is, uh, I would definitely get those. They, they are quite expensive, but I would definitely get those. Now, that's the border, fun is over. As you know, we live in a funless country when it comes to driving. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye, guys.